Good morning, everybody. Beautiful Sunday morning. Decided to do a video. Start doing a couple videos here and there on what's inside. You know, the most common things that scrappers pick up. You know, you experienced scrappers. You guys know you've done this, been there, tore them apart, made your decisions on it. But for people that don't know who watch, I'm going to tear a microwave apart. We're going to see what's inside of it. You know, is there any real money in it? Why is it that some scrap yards don't take the microwave? Well, I'm going to show you that too. So, got an old microwave here. It's definitely old. It's got a turn dial. And I think the dinger, yeah, the dinger even works. You know, anything with a dial is old anymore. Or should I say it is vintage. That is the new word. It is vintage. All right. First thing we're going to do, open it up. Glass tray. Little ring. Right over here. Into the garbage. Now I know some people say, oh, you can save that and sell that. You know, take the model number down and people will buy them in case they break theirs. Eh, I don't care. All right. Next thing I'm gonna do, whack the cord. We know that's money. Money, money, money. All right, then, best thing to do is to look it over. See what's holding it together, what kind of screws. Nine times out of 10 in the later models, the newer models, they use Torx. And more specifically, they use safety Torx. You know, Torx is most commonly referred to as the star bit. This thing, I looked it over, it's all Phillips, and there's a couple quarter inch bolt slash Phillips here. So, let's take it apart real quick. Got the old screw gun, got the Phillips driver. Let's rip it apart. Ooh, a little bigger, huh? Oh, those are sevens. We need a seven. I got an eight. Now it's a seven. All right, run to the truck, or the car, SUV, whatever the hell they call it anymore. Get a seven millimeter. Yeah, it's helpful so we go the right way. Like I say, I just take everything out. Let's take it all apart and see what's in it. All right. We got a sheet metal. That goes in the old 10 shred pile. What do we got here? All right, well, there it is. Not much to look at. What do we got? Nice big transformer. That's always nice. Put some wire there. Wonder if that's all copper or if it's copper and aluminum. Okay. 
trying to do is scratch the wire. You guys can see. See how it's white underneath there? It's pretty copper color, but then it's silver. That's aluminum wire. Now this one I'm betting is copper. This one's covered in paper. Yep, that one is copper. That winding there. But anyway, it's a nice heavy transformer. Throw that off to the side. Now we're going to clip some wire. that up there let me just clip all this out of here Clip all the plastic out of it. My scrap yard is very finicky about stuff that's supposed to be clean is clean. And even the insulated copper wire, like I say, they buy insulated copper wire, but they don't buy plastic plug-ins and zip ties and all the extra crap. Of course, this one's going to give me, of course, I'm using the worst pair of side cutters I have. Throw that up there. Plug-ins, go in the trash. All right, so what do we got here? Yep, capacitor. My scrapyard doesn't pay anything for capacitors. I just throw them in my tin shred because all they are is an aluminum housing, but they're full of oil, so they don't really like to take them. So I just throw them in with the tin shred. All right, what do we got left here? Oh, fan motor. This is the cooling motor for the Megatron. Magnetron, Megatron, yeah. I just went all transformers on you. All right, but that's a decent amount of little copper. It's easy enough. I just take my side cutters and Cut it, peel it out, or you can sell it the whole thing as a motor. Now, let's throw it to the transformer. That's where I got transformers, huh? All right, what do we got on the bottom here? Yet another motor. This is the one that makes the little turntable turn around. Now you can pull these apart too and get the copper out of them, but I'm just going to go for a motor on that. Alright, what else have we got here? Alright, now here is the magnet. Look at that, Daewoo. Didn't they used to make cars? I think they still make heavy equipment, but Daewoo. <laughs> um, this is the reason most scrap yards will not take a microwave is because of the magnetron. The magnetron actually has hazardous material in it that has serious health risk issues. So let's take it apart. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. 
Okay. Let's set that off to the side for right now. <clears throat> All right, now this is basically what we're left with. We got a light bulb, little dinghy. That might be aluminum. I don't really care, but this is what we're left with. The housing in the microwave. Tin shred. Voila. Basically, we're down to the magnetron. All right. Now these, <clears throat> like I say, this is the reason why scrap yards will not take microwaves. Some of them, not all of them. And the reason is, is this insulator right here. This little white part. Okay, it is ceramic. It's a ceramic insulator, but it, it contains beryllium oxide, which if cracked or broken, the particles can go in the air and is a serious health risk. You know, one exposure to this can hurt you seriously, can give you lung diseases and disorders. It is not nothing to play with. So I've actually seen videos where guys were taking mag or microwaves apart and were beating these apart with a hammer to get the magnets out. Now, is it worth it to risk to get the magnets? I don't suggest people do it because, like I say, it, it's a health hazard. But, we're going to take it apart anyway. I'm just not going to get all crazy with it. We're going to go ahead and take the magnets out. Like I say, what you do not want to do is break that ceramic insulator. Because that beryllium is not a joke. Now, it is magnetic, so you got to pull to get it out. That's just tin shred. I'm going to throw this in my bucket. Yeah. I'm going to throw it near my bucket. All right, in the bucket. All right, what we got here is this is a brass mesh washer. So, hey, it's brass. Then we have our magnets and the mag magnetron. Now, these washers here are stuck pretty good usually. This is why I don't suggest people actually mess with microwaves. And like I say, this is the reason why the scrap yards don't take them. Okay, A metal washer, scrap. And we got a nice magnet, nice heavy magnet. Now, these little plates, yes, they are aluminum. You can mess with trying to get them out, but personally, I'm not going to, because I'm not going to get near that insulator. Now on the back side, this little box. Oh, if I can get a hold of the sides. Get it peeled open. Oh, wow, look, copper. But then again, see that? It's another porcelain insulator. It's paint. But you don't want to mess with it. You don't want to break it. It is not worth messing with. I mean, look how much copper is there. Ooh, 
risking your life for that. Now, actually underneath this is another magnet. There is another big magnet back there. Now, am I going to tear this thing apart to get it? No, I'm not. It ain't worth it to me. It's not worth it. Okay? Not to me. You guys can make your own choice. You know? So that's it. That's the microwave. Disassembled. Scrapped out. What do we get? Well, we got the 10 shred, of course. We got a nice big transformer. It's half aluminum wire and half copper wire. Two little motors, which we can clean up for copper if we want to. Got a nice little brass little, it's a brass mesh like washer. And I pulled one magnet out of the magnetron. I pulled the easy one out. And there you go, that's it. You guys make your own choice. Is it worth taking apart? Oh, wait a minute, we got these two little pieces of copper too. These two little pieces of copper. And of course, the insulated number two from the plug-in and the little bit of wire that's in it. And what'd that take us? About 15 minutes or so to take it apart, even with me babbling on. And I'm just pulling the little ferrite piece out of here. But, all right guys, you make your own choice. I don't, I really don't suggest doing it, you know. I don't suggest messing with this magnetron. If you want to pull it apart to get the transformer and the motors, that's fine. But I recommend leaving the magnetron alone. It's not worth it. There's these little pieces of copper and two magnets. You know, how many magnets do you really need, you know. I know you can sell them online and stuff, but it's just not worth it to me. You know, like I say, one exposure to that beryllium oxide can give you serious health issues, breathing problems. It ain't worth it. You know, I already smoke enough cigarettes to give me breathing problems. I don't need beryllium oxide to help it. All right, put those in the bucket. All right, guys, that's it. So in case anybody was out there wondering what's inside a microwave, well, that's it. That's why I just scrap them whole. Take them, chuck them right off the back of the truck. My scrapyard takes them. They get them. You know? All right, guys. Until next time.